Alright everyone, welcome back again to more Trails of Cold Steel 4. We just recently knocked out uh, the ever so confident cocky General Rufus. And, oh, not necessarily General, but yeah. And we also got but the Space Outbreak to retreat. And now we're going to be on our way back to the garden to rest up for a bit. And then finally take on, <coughs> excuse me again, uh, what's his face, McBurton. Everyone, look. It's changed. This one will take us to the core, huh? Seems like it. It looked like a black dome from the out from the outside. Excuse me, guys. I got hiccups. It should be the last sector of the fortress. And Ouroboros Enforcer Number One, the Blazing demon awaits us there. Not just him either. We're almost there. Get some rest before we head out. It's gonna be intense. Yep. As intense as this hiccup. We should eat too. Best to go in, a go in on a full stomach. Might be a good idea to inspect our equipment and make sure everything's in working order. Indeed. Everyone be certain you're prepared before we are make for our departure. Alright guys, give me one minute for a second. I'm gonna drink lots and lots of water for a second. Alright, I think we should be good. Uh, let's talk to some last minute people. What's up with you guys? Well, glad we got no regrets now. It's time for the big finale. I'll help you all as much as I can. Ugh, but I guess we got another annoying opponent to get through first, huh? Milliam. This battle's crucial for us as well. You'll serve as Reen's sword and I shall assist him with mine. And together, we'll both become his strength. Yeah, we got his back. When the Great Twilight ends, Chrome Milliam will... No. I can't be certain that's what will happen. It's not like there's a president. We have to move forward. I need to remain optimistic. That's true. That's very true. Hmm. This looks like a good spot to cast a line. Don't feel like fishing right now. Oh, what are you up to? Training? Hey, Laura. Doing a little training? Yes, yeah, swinging my sword always helps me find my center. It also reminds me of my father and everything he did to help us come this far. In any case, before things come to fruition on the main stage, we must finish our own tasks. Of course. Looking back, I still can't believe how much we've been through in such a short time. At times, we'd be lost. Others, we'd be we'd experience loss. In the end, we've certainly gained quite a bit. Yeah, I think you're right. But if we don't stop the Great Twilight, we'll end up losing far more. We have to stop that from happening. Not much is obvious. The results we're going to achieve are far beyond that, are they not? Sorry, I didn't make it. I didn't mean to make it sound like there was any question of that. You know, once we settle things with Ouroboros, we're going to have to tell my father about us. Sure, I'm prepared for that. In fact, I'm looking forward to it. It means I'll get to spend that much more time with you, after all. Reen, I'm going to hold you to that promise. Oh, okay, a little extra for that, huh? The only thing left now is the final rivalry. I'm starting to feel like a broken record with this, but let's show them what we're made of, Reen. Although before we get there, we need to do something about Ouroboros' strongest first. Right, the same battle is right at our doorstep now. We'll tackle it together, Instructor. We'll give it our everything, right up to the final moment. You can count on me. Alright, I'm excited. Here we go. That elevator will take us to the most dangerous part of the fortress. Are we ready?
guess there ain't a need for words at this point. Yes, we almost made it to the end. It's been over two years since Class 7 was founded. How time flies. I consider myself lucky to be here with everyone today. I feel exactly the same. Two more adversaries remain here, though they'll be much more difficult than any others we face. We can handle them all together. The generic monsters from the way keep getting feistier too. They're almost a job for the soldats. Don't skimp off top level arts and lost arts when you feel you need them. It's a good practice anyway. And don't forget to unleash all the crafts and orders you've got under your belt while you're at it. I never use the lost arts. I just don't like the idea of losing well all then. my- Let's go. Thor's Military Academy, Class 7. Prepare to advance to the final sector of the Imperial Fortress. Right. I was going to say, I didn't like the idea of losing all my EP in one go. But, alright. Epic enough. This infernal darkness. It's as if it leads straight to Gehenna. Even more so, since the blazing demon is waiting for us ahead. Guess it's up to us to shed some light in here. We are the Radiant Wings, after all. Yes, we are. Well, you sense that. So much power in the air, you'd think it was rip rippling off in heat waves. I think even we're all picking up on that. It's like a raging wildfire. I'd say you're developing rather well if you can discern that much. We better be ready for anything. His power comes from beyond, governed not by the rules of this world, but by the divergent laws. It's impossible to even imagine what he could be capable of if that's the case. You have some insight into that kind of stuff though, don't you, Emma? If Bugburn just warm up for the rivalry with the Ebon Knight, I don't want to even think about what's waiting for us. Sounds like overkill if you ask me. Knowing what Bugburn's goal is, I doubt we'll have any choice but to fight him. Before that, I want to talk with him as much as possible so we can get some more intel. Not to steal a Eunice idea on that one. Oh. The sound plan. He may reveal more than the fool did, if he's so inclined. Let's see if we can get him in the mood to talk. And when it comes down to it, I owe it to my father to help you with this, win this battle. Alright, 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 I hear that, I hear that. Okay, put... Hmm... Yeah, we're going to have to give you Abram for now. Ah, uh, we can't share it. Okay, fine. Perfectly fine. I'm going to save right after we heal. Alright, well, uh, let's do this. Oh, he's already waiting. Look at that. Eager. Man, took you guys long enough. I was getting fed up waiting here. Thought you might have died on the way or something. You just can't hold back anymore, can you? His overwhelming power is pouring out. The black flames that engulf all. McBurn, do you remember what you said to me two years ago? Interesting. You mixed by any chance? 
Something foreign, unnatural, mixed into their body itself, different to the church's stigmas. Looks like a pretty small part of it in your case, though. So how much of you is unnatural? All of me. Yeah. I remember our nice little chat on the Pantagruel. The Pantagruel? That must have been during the Civil War. So that's what they talked about. I finally understand what you meant back then. That part of me that was mixed in is Osborne's heart. It's not only the source of this power of mine, but also what connected me to the curse and made me a sacrifice. Maureen! <sighs> <laughs> Don't give me too much credit. I just had a hunch is all. But looking at you now, it's much more than just a small part of you. Nothing compared to me, though. Well, of course not. How could I compare, when you're not even from this world to start with? Right, McBurn? <clears throat> he he's not from this world? What does that even mean? None of this makes any sense. We were raised to believe that this was the one true world created by Adios. In fact, we're incapable of even considering otherwise. The existence of angels and devils on other planes was as much as we were allowed to understand. But we can't even contemplate the idea that anything might exist beyond the bounds of Samuria. What do you... There's... something beyond Zemuria? This is an example of the divergent laws. Things we simply cannot understand or even begin to explain. For example, no matter how far you try to fly or sail away from the continent, you're unable to progress past a certain point. What? You're kidding me! It's not a well-known phenomenon, but it was recently verified through research. Despite a number of attempts to figure out why, Science simply can't give us an answer. Yet, similarly to the artifacts, it's something that backs the existence of Adios. Ah, oh, so that's where she comes in. By attributing everything we don't understand to Adios, we stop thinking for ourselves. Given my position, this isn't something I'm especially proud of. But the Church's stance is that so long as order is maintained in the world, we shouldn't do anything to disrupt it. The mages and witches of the Middle Ages weren't quite as commendable, however. As such, we theorize there must be something else behind all of the mysterious events we've noticed throughout the centuries. The Divergent Laws. In other words, the laws that govern what lies beyond the world Adios created. And at times, certain things from beyond make it into our world causing inexplicable phenomena. <sighs> inexplicable phenomena? Now that you mention it... That does ring a bell, huh, Sarah? Oh. Yeah, it makes sense now. Inexplicable is the only word I can think of to describe the salt pail appearing in North Ambria 28 years ago. Yeah, it was an anomaly on a massive scale, but there was no evidence of it being related to a Septarian. After it appeared, Father Barkhorn went to conduct an investigation on it. But to be honest, the Church wasn't able to reach any kind of conclusion on where it came from, so... It was simply deemed a manifestation of the Goddess's powers. No one can blame them for that. We're all human in the end, and some things we simply can't understand. Yet, in spite of that, there was one group who became obsessed with discovering the truth behind it all. They were ravenous in their pursuit, willing to go to any length, no matter how vile or demonic. Wait! You don't mean... The DG Cult. Though they focused their efforts in Crossbell, they were operating all over the continent. In truth, though, they were being controlled by the Kreuz family the whole time. <laughs> Say what you want about those cultists, but they pulled off something amazing. They're the ones who created Gnosis, a drug that frees you from the shackles of this world. They made something like that? 
But more importantly, assuming this is all true, then... McBurn, you really are someone from beyond this world, aren't you? Hell, are you even human? <laughs> You're half right. <laughs> what is that? The other half. The part of me from beyond. The half of me from here was human. That's why I look the way I do. And before you start asking, no. I don't remember a thing about what the other side is like. Only thing I remember is when my two halves fused together. We collided. Ourselves mixing together so completely, there was no way to split us apart. And in the end, we became me. So that's what you meant when you said all of you was mixed. It's like when the Holy Beast and the Hexen Clan's Elder merged into one. No, Emma. He's on a completely different level from Rose. But if that's true, then... His true essence is that of a calamity given form. Just like the Salt Pail. Now you're starting to catch on. It's been 50 years since I appeared in this world. I've been trying to figure out what I really am the whole time. Trying to dredge up any scrap of memories from where I came from. Trying to figure out what I'm even doing here. The one thing I knew for sure was that I'd need to return to my original form to get everything back. Thing is, if I did that, I'd absolutely annihilate everything around me. Just like how the Salt Pail did. That's why this great Twilight business is the perfect chance. The reality of the world's already being twisted and warped by all this strife they're using to reforge the Great One. So I don't have to worry one bit if my true self completely tears it apart! <gasps> Is he... a devil? Yes! This feels right! This is it! My memories are still missing, though. I figured as much. I was hoping I'd be able to take on Osborne, but I guess you'll have to do. Now, give me everything you got. Draw out my full power so I can get back everything I lost. I guess we have no choice. Class 7, prepare for battle. On my pride as a witch, I'll hold back this Calamity's flames. I'll back you up, but you guys better win, no matter what it takes! Right! Now this is a stage! Give me everything you got! Whoa. It's my turn! Alrighty, kicking off on a, on a strong note. Resonate! Divine Song Formation! I'm up! Mm. Let's see if we can free... Uh... Know what? Hold on, Impassion. Ha! Nuh-uh! Yeah. <laughs> Not today! Wait. It's cool, it's cool. Eh? I'll restore you. I appreciate it. Let's go. Okay, what can we do here? Let's heal up. Ha! <laughs> Thanks. Thank you. 
Let's go. Okay, Demon Unchained. Let's go all out. Uh, yeah! It's my turn. Ah, uh, ha, 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 ha. Go after him. Ooh, yes. It's down. It's mine. Wait. How about this? Ha! How about that? Yes. It's down. It's mine. I'm going. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um. Uh, we could analyze you. I mean, why not? All right, Overlord McBurn, true form with his otherworldly power unleashed, flames of destruction are but a plaything in his hands. Interesting. Very well. Okay. Well, hey. I think now we should play it safe. Uh, 50% damage reduction. Okay. 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 Glimmer. Midnight on it! My turn! Alright, let's uh, hit him. Yeah. <clears throat> it's my turn! And we'll hit him with strong now. Eternally flowing. Form is emptiness. Emptiness is form. First! Second! Third! Fourth! Fifth! Sixth! Yes, that barely did anything. Uh, okay. Let's go with uh, da, 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 Diamond Nova. Arcus, activate. Here I go. Oh, that's not a good idea. I right, should have went with that, something else. Okay, well. That's fine. Uh, da, da, da. 19 shield. No. Let's get in closer. <laughs> cool off for a bit, man. Let's go. Alright. Uh, da, da, da. Uh, I'm trying to see what we can use. Break damage, 120%. But her break damage is 250 for four turns. Breakthrough! Sledgehammer! Very well. Alright, just a little bit. Good job. It's down! An opening! Alright! Alright, just a little bit. Uh oh. <laughs> Guess I'll use this. Turn smash. Burn. <laughs> ah. Let's go. Ouch. That hurt, bro. Roar. <sighs> ah. Helix strike. <laughs> Close. There. Yeah. Miss. Yes. An opening. We won. All right. Not yet. Really. All right. Arcus, activate. My turn. Just die. Oh my goodness. Ha! My turn. Alright. No, uh. It's my turn! Yeah, I don't like that, so we're gonna use this again. Arcus, activate! How about this? 
Oof. An opening. My turn. Mm-hmm. It's some kind of divergent barrier. Maybe I can handle it. Reed. Now is the time. Summon me. Yeah! yeah! When he breaks out of it, I'll summon My you. Turn. <laughs> um, hmm. Okay, maybe I can. Let's do Rikuria on him. Marcus, activate! Ha! Yeah! Six. There you Thank go. You. All right. My turn. All right. Well, that's going on. Uh, boom. Glimmer. Midnight on it. My turn. Okay. And we'll do impassion on yourself. Marcus, activate. My turn. You. We will do. Healing is good. Uh, a forte. Arcus, activate. I'm up. Okay. So in Balmar. <sighs> All right. And uh, you. Burning heart. Yeah. Burning heart. Yeah. Can't afford to lose. That's how he won? Okay. I'll take it. Alright, got it. Yeah, I did it. I must train even more. <laughs> I did it. <laughs> I grew a little I must continue to train. <laughs> I <laughs> Yay, I What's he doing? Ah, uh, so that's it. I spent all that time looking for answers. And it turns out... Hmm? You remember now? <laughs> that little rat Campanella sure got me good. And Ouroboros, huh? We couldn't have picked a better name than that. He's back to normal. Ah, uh, how do I put this? Sorry for the trouble, guys. The hell's that coming from? Hold on just a second. <sighs> well, that was certainly unexpected. Is it safe to say you've accomplished that little goal of yours? Yeah, half of it at least. Got to admit, you guys weren't too bad. I wasn't sure you'd pull it off. Guess I should have given you more credit, since you took down the Steel Maiden and all. <sighs> I take it you're not going to answer our questions then? Look, I get that this is just the way you are. But we're not messing around here. A simple sorry's not gonna cut it. If you really want to make it up to us, Help us out. That's right. You'd make for quite the asset in our battle against the Ebon Knight. Nah. i just get in the way. <laughs> a teleportation circle! I've got a new objective now. Think I'll pay Campanella and the Grandmaster a little visit. The Third Anguist, too. Got a few choice questions for them. Hmm. 
Should probably add the abyss to that list. Not sure if this makes up for all the crap I put you guys through. But here, Schwarzer, Ashen Knight. Take this. What is that? Wow! It's so pretty! A primordial flame. The purest essence of fire. Hmm. It's okay. I'm fine. Thank you, McBurn. I can feel just how powerful this gift is. Allow me to extend my thanks as well, Overlord of the Beyond. I have no doubt this will prove invaluable for the final rivalry. Glad to hear it. Just a heads up, you can probably only use it once. So make it count. Understood. I appreciate it. I don't plan on making friends with you or anyone else in Ouroboros, but I wish you the best of luck, McBurn. I hope you find what you're looking for, without causing any more trouble. <laughs> I'll do what I can. No promises, though. Well, Schwarzer, Class 7, try not to die, yeah? And Crow. Later. <laughs> So long, McBurn. The hell's this deal? Trying to kick our ass one second, then getting all chummy the next? It drives me nuts. Honestly, same. If only I had that change of heart before the fight, it would have saved us more time. My head hurts from all the unbelievable things he told us. I take it you're referring to the divergent laws and mysteries of our world that were brought to light? My whole understanding of the world has just been shattered. I know it's overwhelming, but it may be best to set aside processing all of this for later. Yeah, we have a way more pressing issue to deal with right now. Right, the Great Twilight. At least that's something I more or less understand. Let's come back to all our revelations from Ouroboros after we wrapped up, ev bleh, after we wrapped up everything else. The next battle should mark the grand finale to this story. Yeah, we reached the final destination of this long journey after all. Of course, even if we manage to avert this impending disaster, there will still be the aftermath of the war to deal with. The end's not in sight just yet. We're coming right up to the climax of this long series of events. Shall we head out? I don't see why not. We've got McBurn's gift to try out, don't we? For now, how about you go back to the Garden Valmar? And you should come with us, Milliam. Sure, sure. We don't have far to go, but we must not let down our guard until the end. Alright everyone, that was our fight with McBurn. It was surprisingly not as tough as I thought it would be. It was just long. But we got one final battle left. We're about this close to ending the game at long last, guys. So if anything else, thank you all for watching. And I'll see you all in the next one.